Leveraging a social media planner will help you stay focused, organized, and consistent when it comes to your social media marketing activities. And today, I'm excited to show you how to use my free social media planner template using Notion so that you can streamline the way that you create, manage, and distribute your social media campaigns. Okay, so before we go ahead and dive in, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that out the way, let's go ahead and set up and use this free social media planner to streamline the way that you engage in social media marketing activities. Okay, so to access my social media planner for small businesses, simply click on the link in the description below this video and that's going to take you here. Then simply navigate down the page and locate name a fair price and just hit zero. And that's going to allow you to get my customizable social media planner and 14 page marketing blueprint. And this social media marketing blueprint will help you on your journey with your social media marketing activities in terms of tools and strategies that you can implement. Okay, so to get the social media planner and marketing blueprint, go ahead and click on I want this and then add your email. Then come down and click on get. Then to quickly access the social media planner that I built with Notion, go ahead and click on quick access here. And if you want to download the marketing blueprint, simply go ahead and click on download. Also, if you get value from this free social media planner and marketing blueprint, please leave a like over here so that we can reach other small business owners that would find value in this product. So like I mentioned, go ahead and click here. Then to get your own copy of this social media planner, simply navigate up to duplicate and that's going to allow you to add this social media planner template to your Notion account. If you don't have a Notion account, then you'll be asked to sign up for free. Okay, so I already have a Notion account, so I'm going to log into my Notion account and access this template. Okay, so let's navigate down to our social media planner. Now you'll notice that we have four views. We have a planner view, calendar view, status view, and a timeline view. Now, if we click on planner view, this is where you'll spend most of your time. Under content is where you can add your own content ideas. Simply click here and add the name of the content that you want to create. As you can see, new product introduction video. Then navigate over to creation date. This is where you want to add the creation date. So when do you plan to create this content? I create my content on a Monday. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the night and then click out of here. Next, we want to click on the status. Is this a new idea or is this content in progress? Is it a draft content? Is it in planning? Is it created or is it backlogged? So I'm going to click on planning because I'm still planning this content. Then if we navigate over to media type, this is where you can select the media type. Now I'm going to close this option, this option, and this option. And I wanna create a video vertical format, short introduction video that's under one minute. Then if I click out of here, I can click on social media channels. And these are the channels that I want to post this content to. Again, I'm going to close these and then click on YouTube shorts. TikTok, and then Instagram Reels. These are the different platforms that I can post vertical format video content. Now you can also navigate over to these three dots and you have the option to customize each of these columns and elements. I can add color to this element and I can also change the name if I like. And again, you can do the same with any of these columns. For example, under status, if I click here, I can come down and edit the property and I can change the name of the column. I can also change the icon if I like, and I can add additional statuses or change these current statuses. Okay, so let's close this for now and then navigate over to publish date. Okay, so if I navigate back over to the creation date, you can see that I selected the 9th of October. However, we're in November, so I'm actually gonna come down and click on the 13th, which is a Monday in November, and then navigate back over to the publish date and click here. And I want to publish this content on the 21st, which is a Tuesday. Then if I click out of here, this is where we can simply select if this content has already been posted. And then we can also add notes over here if we like, and you can add additional columns depending on the information that you want to capture. Now, like I mentioned, we have posted down here. The reason we have this column is so that we can navigate over to the filter option here and click the drop down, and then select checked. And we can see all the content that has been posted. We can also click here and then click on unchecked and see all the content that is yet to be posted. You can also add additional filters if you like. I'm going to click here and then click on clear. 
Now, just quickly before I get back to this video, I just want to mention my all-in-one digital playbook that you guys might be interested in called Go Digital Now, the ultimate small business playbook. This dynamic book took me a year to create and is ideal for small business owners, new and existing, that are looking for a clear-cut digital roadmap for setting up the right tools, systems, activities and strategies so that you can absolutely dominate online. I will add a link in the description below this video if you want to learn more about Go Digital now. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get back to this video. Now with each of these different records, we can click on open and that's going to open a page view of all the different columns, all the different properties that you have associated with your social media planner. And again, you can add additional properties if you want or add comments. Okay, so let's close this. Now you can also navigate down and for example, if I wanted to create a post similar to this in terms of the details that I've added here, then what I can do is simply duplicate this post or this content idea by selecting this post and then navigating up to here and then clicking on duplicate. And that's going to duplicate that post and all of its details across here. And because this is a duplicated post, I'm going to untick posted because it's not yet posted and then change this to 16. And again, I can change the creation date, status, media type, and all of these different properties. Now we can also navigate up to new and click here, and that's gonna add a new item. And again, we can come down and customize these different properties down here, or we can click on close and then customize those properties across here. We can also navigate down here and add a new item down here if we like. Now let's navigate over to the calendar view. This gives you a visual calendar view of your content. So I can see the content for the next month as well as into the future if I like. Okay, so let's navigate back up to the top and then click on status view. This gives you a Kanban view structure if you prefer to see your content in a Kanban view. For example, let's say I've already gone ahead and I've finished creating this content here, but I've decided to backlog this content and not post it until December. So I'm going to move this content and put it under backlog. And remember that's the content item that we added earlier, new product introduction video. If I navigate back over to planner, you can see that the status has changed to backlog. Okay, so let's navigate back over to status view. And again, with all of these different views, you can add items here or you can add items over here. Now let's navigate over to the timeline view. This gives you a visual timeline view of your content. Again, you can change the date if you like over here and you can add new items. And a timeline view is typically more important when you have a start date and end date in terms of the production of your content. Now you can also customize each of these views by clicking on the view and coming down and you can rename the view and you can also edit that view. Okay, so let's navigate back over to Planner. And as you can see, this social media planner is going to help you organize and stay consistent with your social media marketing activities. And like I mentioned earlier, this social media planner also comes with a social media marketing and management PDF for tips, strategies, and recommendations and tools. And the whole idea of this social media planner and marketing blueprint is to help you stay focused, consistent, and help your business and brand grow through social media marketing activities. Let me know down below in the comments if you found this social media planner and marketing blueprint helpful for your business. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief notion and social media planner template tutorial. Now if you have any questions about this template, about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.